Hey, what's up, guys? Replay viewers, welcome. Thanks for checking this out. It's going to be a good episode, so feel free to swipe and share. If you're on an iPhone, to swipe to the right. If you're on Android, I believe that is from the bottom to the top, and that will get you a sharing. <clears throat> Come on in, guys. <clears throat> Hopefully, you're doing amazing this evening. Hey Justin, it's Helen. What's up, Helen? How are you? Glad to see you. <clears throat> see who else we got in the house. Type your uh, let's see. Type your first name. Brittany O. I see is here. Helen is here. Justin Thomas is here. Terry is here and says, "Hey everybody." <clears throat> All right, guys. So hey, do me a favor if you know. Anybody that would be interested in this topic of discovering their life's purpose, follow suit with Helen and invite your followers. <laughs> um, let's, I, I would love to get a few people in here. I'm going to deliver this thing regardless of, of who shows up uh, because I believe it's very important and, uh, and, and you guys need to hear this. It's been very helpful for me. And, uh, and I want to share this with you. I was actually going to, to re, reteach something that I spoke about earlier today, which was a morning routine. But uh, I thought, you know what? I think this is more, this is more important. Uh, so let's see. We got Hello Jay. Terry invited one person. Thank you so much. Summer Dreams is in the house. What's up, Summer Dreams? Thank you for showing up. I appreciate you being here. Hello Jay. I'm guessing your name is Jay. Well, hello Jay. <laughs> Tony Hutchison joined. What's up, Tony Hutchison? Thanks for being here, man. Come on in, guys. Come on in. And sorry, I'm I'm a little stopped up. I've been uh, I've been super. <laughs> I've been like couch bound for the last three days. Uh, Joe Cash one six six is in the house. What's up, Joe Cash? So, guys, do me a favor. Those that are hopping on, I'm gonna share with you guys. If you're if you're sitting here and thinking, I have no clue what my purpose here is then this is definitely the broadcast for you so do do me a favor and invite your followers share this with uh, with your people uh, do what I call showing me some G love which means share this on Facebook uh, using the hashtag Glover scope share this on Twitter using the hashtag Glover scope and then invite your your followers here on Periscope I would greatly appreciate it and you know what I don't even care if you use the hashtag Glover scope I just want to get this message out to as many people as I possibly can because it's a message that is oh man so crucially vitally 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 important Atlas 22 what's up man I was just thinking about you today matter of fact I'm out here at the river and uh, I was doing some reflecting and this blue truck drives by and I could have swore it was you um, I I thought holy shit that is Kimball right there in front of me. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you're if you're in Arkansas in a blue truck, but uh, if if not, man, you got a twin here. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how to discover your life's purpose. So J Boom is in the house. What's up, J Boom? Thank you so much for for hopping on. Again, those of you that are just hopping on, hey, do me a favor and and share this with your your people if you think that it'll be beneficial. Um, I. You can include the hashtag Gloverscope or not, doesn't matter, but let's get some people in here um, because I'm going to give you, specifically I'm going to give you four questions that you can ask that put a lot of thought into these questions and if, if you really just take a few minutes to answer these questions for yourself, um, it will help you discover your purpose, why you're here because here's the reality guys. We are all here for a purpose. We're here, we're meant to do something great. And like not one person, if you're hearing this, not one of you are here without a purpose. All right, so that's the first thing to understand. The second thing to understand is that whenever you came to this earth, your purpose was already put inside of you. Here's, here's how I'm going to, there's four questions that, that you can ask. And if you answer these four questions for yourself, you will, it will help you discover your purpose. And I'm going to share my answers to those four questions if you guys would like. Um, but I got, there's two things. All right. So 
the first thing is we all have a purpose that we're here to accomplish here while we're on earth all right if you guys if you guys agree to that type type number one <laughs> take my jacket off <laughs> I look weird because <laughs> I don't have the the Glover scope shirt on I do have it on underneath underneath there need a boost these days all right so check it out if you hadn't seen it it's, uh, ah, there we go hashtag Glover scope just Glover scope.com all right so so we're all here to just to um, to accomplish something on earth right so we all have a purpose all right so the, per the second thing to understand is our purpose is something that has already been born within us all right um, you came to this school that we call earth right with the purpose already inside of you so the key where most people fall short of finding out you know figuring out what is it that I'm here for it's because they look outside of themselves they don't look inside and that's where the answer is the answer is inside of you you have to turn inside in order to figure out this answer and for years I I didn't get that I I, I tried to find purpose outside of myself and it wasn't until I realized that my purpose was inside before I even came to this earth that that I, I you know once I understood that I realized okay well I need to turn inside and answer like search inside of myself for the answer to the questions that align me with my soul's purpose so I want to share that with you here today and you guys tell me I want to I want to deliver this content in the way that's most um, pleasurable to you so how would you like me to do this all right would you like me to give the four questions? Give us the questions. Man, somebody is impatient. Calm down. The questions are coming. You gotta be you gotta be patient. This is like a, a relationship. That's like walking into somewhere, and I'm not even going into what that is. But anyway, they're they're coming. So here's my question to you. Do you want me to give all four of the questions up front and then go through my answers of each one? Or do you want me to go through, like, give you the first question and then read my answer to it and sort of do some engaging? All right, so here's the thing. If you want me to give all four questions up front, type, type the word first. All right, type the word first if you want me to give all four questions right up front. If you'd like me to give them one by one and elaborate, type the word elaborate. All right, we got a yes, a first, a yes, a first one at a time with answers all right we got to no, know elaborate one by one elaborate all right who else we got it's about even what do you think elaborate elaborate looks like elaborates coming around the corner taking a lead what else elaborate all right so it looks like elaborate you guys think elaborate one all right so elaborate one so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give you the four questions because I know there's some people here that are are super like just impatient um, and that's okay I am too I get it like I'm, I'm not hating I promise I'm the same way I'm like give me this stuff give me this stuff like I want this specific thing and here's the reality guys what I'm actually about to share with you it's worth the wait I can promise you that I'm gonna give you the four questions right up front because I think it's important for all of us to understand what those four questions are and then I'm gonna go into each one so here's the four questions all right you don't have to write these down you can write them down as I go through them question number one what am I most passionate about? What am I most passionate about? Question number two. What am I doing when time seems to fly by? What am I doing when time seems to fly by? Question number three. What brings me joy? And question number four. What types of books, movies, and magazines do I like to consume? All right. And I'm going to give you a hint here. If you answer these four questions, if you turn inside and answer these four questions honestly to yourself, spend some time here, guys. I don't care if you listen. You can listen to my answers. I'm going to share my answers. But even if you left right now and you write these questions down and you just spend some time, spend the night answering these questions for yourself. Spend Write a page for each question. I promise you, if you do this, your soul's purpose what you're supposed to do like it's in there somewhere all right maybe for some of you answering those questions will just it'll give you some clues and you'll you'll start to connect the dots and you'll see what those things are because here's the thing guys um your purpose is where your joy and your passion intersect all right where your joy and your passion intersect that is your purpose my friend 
And so you got to find that out. And for most of us, like we don't, it's just, it's silly to think like for me, at least like I was thinking, all right, well, I'm a 30 plus year old dude. I'm 32. I think, <laughs> um, does anybody else have that question of like, you don't know how old you are sometimes. I'm always like a year or two off. It's the weirdest thing. Maybe it's not, maybe it's uh maybe it's not. Okay. So where was I going? What was I saying? And isn't it funny how if this is where I'm at. Thank you so much. Isn't it funny how at 32 years old, I think, well, yeah, it's obvious. Everybody should know what brings them joy, what they're passionate about. But for me, that was kind of a hard question to answer. How many of you guys can relate? How many of you guys have actually sat down and tried to answer that question? I'm curious. How many, how many of you, like when I say question number one, what are my most passionate about? I will say the questions again. Absolutely. So question number one, in fact, is what am I most passionate about? All right. So that's question number one. What am I most passionate about? And how many of you, I mean, me as a 32 year old dude, like think about, all right, well, what am I most passionate about? That seems to be a very difficult question to answer. It should be simple, right? Like you would think by now I would have figured this out. And here's the reality guys. Like you just got to turn and you got to take the time to sit down and answer these questions. And I didn't do that for a long time. And so, I'm going to read you my answers and I want you guys, I'm going to read my answers to all four of these questions actually. And I would like you guys to try to, to, to see where my joy and passion intersect. All right. So I'm going to, I've got like a half a page answer for each of the four questions, but first hi from Brazil. Hello from Brazil. Hey, type in where you're from. I would love to see, type your first name and where you're from. I want to, I want to tell everyone here, uh, hello, and then I will get into my answers of the four questions and you guys can see what my purpose is and see how my passion and my joy intersect and and I'd like you this will be sort of a real-time experiment of you helping me discover my purpose all right now I to an extent already know what my purpose is but going through this process was extremely enlightened enlightening for me so I want to share it with you so type your first name and where you're from and we'll get started. I'm going to do a quick shout out to everybody that's that's on here and listening and and willing to to um look at my answers and listen to my answers and try to identify and help me make the connection of where my joy and my passion intersect. So if you're willing to do that and you're here on this broadcast listening to my voice right now, type your first name and where you're from. Okay, so let's get into the questions. Question number one, what am I pa most passionate about? So for me, here's what I wrote down, all right? I wanna help others accomplish their goals and live their dream life. I don't necessarily wanna be in the, quote, motivational or person development category. That's, so that's something that I became aware of. I don't necessarily like that idea of, you know, being just another person in the personal development space. But I do wanna help people accomplish their goals. I want to wake up every day and feel like I'm adding good to the world. It doesn't really matter on what that looks like at the moment. As long as I feel like I'm doing my part in bringing light into the earth in a good way, then I'm good with it. I want to help others realize that they have unlimited power inside of them and can do so much more during their time here on earth. Because the reality is, guys, we underestimate our, our potential all the time and therefore we don't give it everything that we have and therefore we don't live our full purpose here on earth. We don't do what we came here to do. So <clears throat> I want to inspire people to do more. I want to, I want to inspire people to be able to rise above the shit when it happens and win and push through and, and get that victory. I want to do something that sets a good example for future generations. I want to play a significant, I got a phone call. <laughs> Give me a one if you're still with me. I got a phone call. I'm back now. Give me a one if you're still still with me. All right, cool. So I was just finished up on uh, on that one. So I want to create things that pump out success stories long after I'm gone. Um, I want to wake up and feel proud about what I'm about to do for that day. I'm passionate about helping people learn the skill sets that will help them rise above tough times. So that's what I wrote down. 
for my answer to what am I passionate about, okay? So there's that, there's that answer. So hopefully that gives you some insight. That's, that's what I wrote down. All right, so the next one. Next question is, what am I doing when time seems to fly by? For me, here's what I wrote down. Time goes by quickly when I'm creating stuff, content. One hour seems to go by in just minutes. Sometimes when I meditate and I'm in prayer, time flies by. Sometimes, however, time seems to drag by and it's frustrating as hell because I'm in my mind and not doing it quite, you know, what I think is the right way to do it. Um, I love delivering good presentations to a live audience when the audience is engaged. So you guys being here and interacting and sharing and giving hearts and like commenting and answering my questions, I love that. When I'm doing it, you guys know I can talk for a while and I get into like better stuff comes out of me when I have that interaction and whenever I can get in that zone and I feel like that people are getting value from it, that's when I feel like I'm contributing the most and that's when I feel like I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, right? And coincidentally, that's also when time seems to just fly by. I've done, I can't tell you how many videos or trainings or presentations I've done when it was supposed to be 20 minutes and it ended up being like an hour or like a 60 minute webinar turns into like five hours. Um, <clears throat> so I, I get caught up in things like that. On the flip side, um, when the audience is not engaged, it's paralyzing to me and, and to other people, I think, you know, that's a big scary thing. Like it puts all kinds of like past stories come up and all this bullshit about like, nobody cares, nobody's interested, all this stuff like, and you gotta be able to like push past all that because at the end of the day, it, it doesn't matter. As long as you're living your purpose, as long as I feel good about what I'm doing, what I'm waking up and actually talking about. I mean, if, if you guys show up here and get value on the live call, great, amazing. If you invite your people, great, amazing. They get value too. I'm doing what I, what I feel like I'm supposed to be doing. Therefore, my life is, is more joyful. However, this same video may, may get seen a year down the road, five years down the road, 10 years down the road, and it may inspire something, somebody to do something great. That's what is exciting to me, that I'm actually doing something. <laughs> Damn, my voice is getting worse as I, <clears throat> as I am, am talking. <laughs> See if I can make it through this thing with, with a voice. <clears throat> All right, so let me finish reading this. Time seems to fly by when I'm following my current morning routine. So my current morning routine is like super by the minute and just full of the, the things that fill me up. Like um, the things that fill me up spiritually, energetically, like mentally, like to get my mind feeling like my, my mind is on point, like my relationships are good, my, like I, I just go through all these different things. The thing that, that I need to like serve me, I do that first in the morning and I have a very specific routine that I follow. And when I do that, it's a two hour routine and it seems like it's 30 minutes. So that's something uh, when, when, you know, time seems to fly by. Um, time seems to fly by when I'm hanging around people that are getting things done. So when I'm hanging around people that are getting shit done, that are making stuff happen, that, that aren't waiting around, like hearing ideas and, and like going back to the room. So events, for example, when I go to an event and people teach an idea and then I see people go back to the room, implement that idea, get results and come back and tell me about the results. And like when I'm in those type of environments, I'm more inspired to do that same type of thing. And when I do that same type of thing, like that, that type of, that, you know, time flies by for me in those settings. And the last thing I wrote down is time seems to fly by when I'm doing things that I love to do, fun things, and I'm not really thinking about work or business. Um, you know, because w let's be honest, when, when thinking about work or business for a lot of times, especially when starting over, and that's essentially what I'm doing starting over right now, they, I have no idea who just took a screenshot, <laughs> but, um, Jeez, <laughs> that's funny. Uh, thank you. Um, okay, so like when when you're starting a business, you're like a lot of times that there's a lot of stress behind that. Like a lot of pressure can be put on you to make certain results happen, and that can be overwhelming sometimes. And 
And guys, I've, I've been to, I've been through this twice now, going through it, not the first time, not the second time, but for a, actually not even the third time. I've, I've been through this process of essentially starting over in my business, in my life, in my career multiple times. And each time brings its own little challenges. And also each time brings its own rewards. So anyway, I just felt inspired to say that. So that's the answer that I wrote down to what I'm, what I'm doing when time seems to fly by. All right. So there's two more questions. What brings me joy? And the final question, what types of books, movies, magazines do I like to consume? So I'm going to give you my answer to those two questions. My answer to what brings you joy. But what I want to do before I give you my answer is I want you to just type one or two things that bring you joy. Maybe as I'm giving my answer, I want you guys to type a couple of things that are bringing you joy. And uh, if you're finding this, thank you so much, Cynthia, for sharing on Twitter. I appreciate it. If you guys are finding this valuable, share. If you haven't shared on Twitter yet, share on Twitter. If you haven't shared on Facebook yet, share it on Facebook. If you haven't invited your, your followers yet on Periscope, do that. That'll they'll they'll be glad you did. I still got some time here, um, so I'll chat. We'll we'll make sure that we add some value to them. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, guys. All right. So, what brings you guys joy? Consider answering that question for yourself as I read to you my answer. What brings me joy? So here's what brings me joy: making my daughter laugh. Puppies, dogs laughing. I love that. Making my daughter laugh brings me joy. The feeling of successfully executing something brings me joy. Um, knowing that I put in work, hard work, and as a result, I'm able to experience that, that rush of success, that feeling of accomplishment, that brings me joy. Helping others accomplish things bring me joy. Helping others make forward progress brings me joy. Tipping big brings me joy. I love giving outrageously big tips at restaurants and, and at bars and when I get my hair cut and when, you know, to the people in, in baggage, you know, at, at the, the check-in at, at the airport, when I have to check bags, like, I love, people, people in the service-based industry, I love tipping ridiculously big. I don't know why, it brings me all kinds of joy. Um, picking up tabs brings me joy. I love doing that. I love paying for people's meals. I love buying people's drinks. If I... Uh, we're in a financial position to buy everybody's drink at every restaurant. There's a good chance that that's what I would do. Is Walker? I would I would have a night probably where I went out and I bought the entire people's you know meals or something. I don't know. Like I love doing that. So that type of thing brings me joy. Um, doing extra special things for people just because, like for no for no damn reason at all. That gives me so much joy. Um, doing extra extra special things for people just because meditating, meditating, and like being peaceful and taking a fucking minute during the day to just stop and breathe and slow down, like that's peaceful for me. That brings me all kinds of joy. Um, being able to be fully present with people. Whether you know when they're when I'm talking with them and I I leave a conversation and I know that all right I heard what they said and I gave them some advice that I know maybe they don't even know it yet but I know that advice is going to make them think and that advice will lead them lead them down a path that is closer to their their purpose and their their joy and and their ultimate goals. And when I can have a conversation with somebody and, and leave knowing that, that brings me joy. Um, discovering new things brings me joy. I love driving to new places that I've never been before. Um, I love you know discovering op new things, opening new packages, getting surprises. I love that I love that kind of stuff. And then the last thing I wrote down is above average accomplishments makes me feel proud. Above average accomplishments. So when I can accomplish something, that not the average person will accomplish. That makes me feel uh, like, yeah, proud, which brings me joy. And matter of fact, I think that's one of my really big drivers is is when I can do things that like like running, uh, participating in a in a triathlon. That's something that not your average Joe is going to go out and do. 
I haven't done it yet, but I'm, I'm training for it. I'm going to do it. You mark my words, I'm going to do it. Um, I don't know when, but it will be soon. And and you guys will, will hear about it. You'll, you'll see that. And you'll probably be able to tell after I do it the amount of joy. Like, I'll do a Periscope as soon as I finish. That will be the, the first thing that I do. If you guys are here and you're tuned in and, and you're watching me do that Periscope, maybe maybe you'll be able to tell me you'll remember me saying how how it's actually going to feel and, and you'll be able to remind me you know because i'm going to do a periscope right after i do my uh my triathlon i have no idea when that is but it'll make it i'll make it happen and so you'll be able to see <laughs> what i'm talking about when i accomplish something that's above average like oh that makes me so proud and like i get so much joy out of that so that is my answer for that question all right, what is your answer to that question? And then the final question, uh, I, <laughs> I really need to like clear my nose and like spit this loogie, but I'm not going to. So I'm just gonna keep, keep with the sound. We got one more, we got one more question left. I'm on the last question. So uh, this video will be, be wrapped up. But the last question is, what type of books, movies, and magazines do I like to consume? Here's what I wrote down. I like personal development uh, magazines, growth, books, um, anything on entrepreneurship. I enjoy movies that are inspirational. I enjoy movies that cause me to think bigger. I enjoy movies that that seem to tell a story that I can relate to. So when I say, man, yeah, I, I, I've been there, or I, I, I connect with that person, like I love that. Everybody does, I think. Um, I love ed educational books on business and entrepreneurship and, and I read marketing type of stuff. Like when I'm consuming my, my educational type, it's, my consumption of content is mostly, it's educational stuff because I feel like I'm meant to do more, right? And so I'm constantly striving to better myself. Why wouldn't I? right if if that's what I truly believe why wouldn't I and maybe you're watching this right now and maybe maybe you're not watching as, as many educational things or maybe you're not taking action on as many of those things as you should or maybe there's some things that you're doing that you know you shouldn't be doing whatever it is like when you really think about like if I'm here to, to do that maybe it's time to make that change so anyway let me get back to what I what I what I wrote down for what type of books, movies, and magazines I like to consume. Um, I like educational books on business, entrepreneurship, marketing. I prefer to listen to audiobooks. Um, that's my format. I prefer them to be short. <laughs> to be honest, um, I don't like. I told you guys I like the the quick, like to the point. Um, that's 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 the type of stuff I like to personally consume. It's not, however, the stuff that that naturally comes out of me like it takes me a little bit to get my thoughts out and to, to for my thoughts to evolve and for me to unpack them and honestly I think that a lot of us like we're, we're sort of maybe we're a little bit too fast maybe it's a good thing and maybe we should slow down a little bit sometimes you know we <laughs> there was a time and I went through this uh, productivity training in 2010 I think it's called wake up productive and he asked, he told this story about, it was Evan Pagan, he told this story about, you know, there wasn't a time not too long ago when we as a species, if we wanted something to eat, what was the process of us getting something to eat? We went out and we hunted something and we killed it. And we had to, we had to find something and kill it. And then we had to cook it. We had to build the fire to cook it. And then we had to cook it. And then we could enjoy the meal. That was sort of the process. And that now, if you think about it, it's like when we want something to eat, we want something that we can put in a microwave, push a button, and we stand in front of the damn microwave like waiting for it to end, saying, hurry the fuck up. Like, <laughs> how impatient can we be sometimes? Sometimes we just have to slow down. The con Sometimes the content that we're looking for, sometimes the breakthroughs that we're looking for, are right in front of our fucking face. And pardon my language, guys. I, I usually don't cuss. This is just, it's something that's coming out from me. So, um, you know, it is what it is. If you're offended, I apologize. I truly do. Um, <laughs> but I'm not going to say that it's going to be the last time because 
that's that's just me all right so anyway there we there we have it so i lost a few people so maybe the cussing ran them off i don't know <laughs> um i like funny movies action movies and movies that tell a good story so there we have it that is what i wrote down for what types of books movies and magazines i like to consume so those are my answers to those four those four questions guys and i encourage you to answer those four questions for yourself because answering these four questions, it will give you a clue. Who knows? Maybe answering these four questions will paint the entire picture of your life's purpose. You answer, you spend some time answering these four questions. Maybe it takes you an hour. Maybe it takes you a day. Maybe it takes you, I don't know, half a day. Maybe it takes you a week. But at the end of it, when you can answer these questions and understand and go through whatever... Like, if you find it difficult, like, push through it and get to the answer of these questions because the answer of these questions are the answer of what you, your purpose is. So, you know, your purpose is where your passion and your joy intersect. I said that earlier. Um, so answer these four questions and then review your answers. Look back over the answers to what those four questions are. I just gave you my four answers, so we got a couple people still here. Um, if you guys want to contribute and chime in on what you think my purpose in life is based on what you've heard me talk i would love that i, I would love for you to, to chime in and and uh and, and tell me here live if you're watching this on on a replay i would love for you to it, maybe it's if it's on a blog post which more than likely it'll probably end up on a blog post somewhere i would love for you to tell me what you think my purpose is based on i just read to you my answers to these four questions and i kind of poured my heart out all right it was a little bit scary for me to actually read you these these answers and so if you would like now that you've heard my answers what do you think my purpose is i would love your feedback like i know i've read through my answers i've reviewed my answers and i'm going to go back and watch this video again and see if i can connect some dots and maybe get even some more clarity on what my purpose is but I would love that outside perspective. I would love your outside perspective. So let me know. And if you're watching this here live on Periscope, um, there will be a blog post about this. Uh, I'll tell you about it when it goes live. I would I would love for you to to come and and, and comment. Um, you know, in the meantime, maybe if there's not a blog post and you feel inspired to tell me, you can email me at justin at results513.com. Um, because the reality is, guys. It's great to go through this this process and understand what it is that you're you're here to do. But the next step is you know once we understand that, I know for me, boy, what happens? When I understood what I'm supposed to do, holy shit, fear came out like a mofo. <laughs> It seems like for most people, when when there's something that stops them in their tracks, like the one thing that stops people in their tracks from living their purpose is fear. If some fear of some sort stops them. And it's a different fear for, for everybody, but it's fear. And so I'm going to be talking about in future broadcasts how to, how to deal with that. Matter of fact, I actually have talked a lot about that. And if you haven't seen the other blog post, you can go to results513.com slash five lessons. The number five and then the word lessons, that'll take you to a great blog post that I wrote that has some action steps on how to recognize, acknowledge, and get through fear when it comes up. And I'm going to be talking a lot more about this in the future. So thanks again so much for, for watching this, guys. I appreciate it. The sun has gone down. It's getting dark. The bugs are landing on my phone. <sighs> Excuse me. Get away. Get away. Get, get off my phone. Um, and uh, I think I got, I'm getting text messages that, that dinner is ready, so I've got to go. This has been awesome. It's been fun. It felt good to actually <laughs> say this. My voice made it through. So give me a couple of hearts, just final hearts, if just to let me know that you're still here, regardless of where or when you're watching this. I just want to tell you, do yourself a favor. Go through this process. Discover what your purpose is. Figure it out. Because once you figure it out, life can get so much more fun. It does. It becomes more fun. So figure it out. And, uh, you know, if, you, if you're thinking, I don't know what that is, 
watch this broadcast again, watch this video again, and answer these four questions for yourself. I promise you if you do, you will start to put together the pieces of what your purpose is, and uh, you'll be able to step into that purpose and live an amazing life. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate all of you, and we'll talk soon. Bye-bye.